Hello. This video wasn't planned or intended, but I caught the sun trying to be naughty this morning. It was misbehaving. Uh, I didn't have uh, the time or r really didn't have any idea how I was going to uh, discuss it until the sun was gone. But you can see the bamboo uh, stick. Yes, it's mostly dead. <laughs> um, but it's kind of at an angle. And that's the angle that the sun was hitting the table. Not much, but more than the direct shot, it used to just shoot through and land on that back wall. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little quick. Um, but today, it came in at an angle, and it hit the table, just kind of cut across there like that. So, this one up here, which was down here on the table, it was getting a little bit of sun when the, the curtains opened. So I thought, well, if I just move it up there and scooch this Tolumnia, oh yeah, I mean Phalaenopsis, just scooch it back toward the tank a little bit. Well, the sun could cut across the table. See, it, it's still kind of... I don't know how much of that is the lights. But you can see that the shadows are at an angle. And that angle is a little more extreme. I, I think that may have a lot to do with the, the lights up above. Um... They, they come at the table at an angle. <clears throat> so that, that could be, it's not a flat ceiling up there. Um, the, they're angled. So shadows might be a little weird because of that too. There's, uh, seven of them up there. I kind of refer to it as the land of the seven suns. Because when they're on bright, like when I'm filming, they're, you, you don't want to look up at them. But anyway, the sun was coming in at an angle, being bad. So I scooched everything back, and I got on with my day, hoping that it wouldn't get further back. Uh, I was expecting as the day went and the sun got higher that it would just back up uh, to the point where it didn't even reach the table anymore. Because that's what it would do. It would shoot across, hit that back wall, and then go down, walk across the floor, and... Eventually, as the sun got more overhead, uh, not come in the window at all. But, although it didn't really catch me, I more caught it than it caught me. I wasn't expecting it to get over here to the table. So you gotta, you gotta be careful. <laughs> it, uh could surprise you. And even if you know, going along about your day, everything's fine, and then just one day, boom, it's changed by a significant amount. Like it went from really not getting anywhere near the table to this morning, all of a sudden, boom, there it was. Hitting some leaves. You know, I had to move 
move the orchids back, get them back closer to the tank. And in that case, on top of it. And that one on the corner wasn't affected. Uh, the old purple one wasn't affected. But the one that moved up on top was. And this one was. Good possibility that uh, that is why that isn't as purple as it could be. Um, my understanding is the more sun, uh, or more light, not necessarily sun, it's a medium light plant, um, but the more light they get, the more green they are. And the more shaded, the more the purple comes out. It's my understanding. So, yeah, watch the sun in these days. Don't let it surprise you. Um, just like the cold damage, that, that one, all the leaves have came off that were cold damage, but cold damage. Okay. The sun can do the same thing, only it's not cold damage, it's sunburn when the sun does it. So, don't let the sun catch you off enough that damage is done to your plants. I hope I didn't burn anybody. I, I think I caught it fast enough that I didn't burn anybody. But then I thought that the warm aquarium water was keeping the plants going. I still think it kept them going longer. You know, the, the one that didn't get the, the benefit of just getting tap water didn't make it. Everybody else seems to have at least made it. So that's, that is that. But this is about the sun and how it surprised me. It wasn't really a shock or anything. Other, other people have talked about, you know, watching the sun. Especially this time of year. It's getting stronger and it's changing position. Don't, uh, don't let it catch you off guard. You, you gotta spot what it's doing as it's doing it because you don't want it to just sit on the leaf for too long, especially a Phalaenopsis leaf. Uh, Vandas and highlight orchids, you know, they, they might put up with it for longer. Or even indefinitely, that, that might be a bit of a stretch. But the higher light the orchid, the, the longer it can take. Just don't let it, I, I keep saying that, but don't let it uh, catch you out and, and burn your medium or low light orchids. Talk to you next time.